guys, hands mouth, my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I just want to uh, share some more of my Hobby Lobby um, craft clearance, 75% off. Okay, look at all this. Ah! All right, let's go through it. I got a, I almost said an SH word, an SH load of uh, um, envelopes and cards, but mostly envelopes. And the reason I got a whole bunch of envelopes is because I like to do um, art journaling, and I like to do art journaling, but in my art journal, I like to mix junk journaling in with it. So I can, I can whatever I'm feeling that day, if I want to art journal, I can art journal. If I want to junk journal, I can junk journal, or I can mix them together. And when I junk journal, I love to have envelopes. And, you know, you can get the ones from Dollar Tree, but they're not good thick envelopes. These are the good thick ones. So they're regularly $3.99, got them for $0.99. Cents. That's an insane deal. $0.99 cents for regularly $3.99. So I bought three packs of the white. Oh, also, I like to be able to um, put these on the jelly plate and jelly plate them and uh, jelly print them or uh, coffee stain them or use some Timmel's Distress ink inks on them or coffee stain them, whatever I want to do. So, and these are great to make into um, pockets in your uh, junk journal slash art journal. So, um, I love them for that. You can also make little journals and stuff out of envelopes, which you can put into pockets of your junk journal. You can do so much with envelopes. Okay, so you guys know why I got the envelopes. I just told you. So, I'm going to show you all the different envelopes that I got. This is full. <coughs> this is regularly $3.99, cents. <coughs> I got three of these ones also. I believe it's three. Yeah. Um, and I love this beautiful robin's egg blue color. Isn't that gorgeous? I would love to coffee stain this. How gorgeous would that be? Coffee stained or some Timmel's distress inks on these. Um, and it's 12 pack of envelopes and cards. So I have card bases and the card bases I can either, you know, take, I like to take my artwork and put them and make them into cards so I can do that. Uh, they're great card bases. <coughs> you can also use these. And do different stuff when you're junk journaling with them. So, I got tons of cards and um, envelopes. Let me turn my... Isn't this cool? My husband got it for me. It's a little speaker. And you use it through... Um, what is that called on your computer? Bluetooth. I love it. Anyway, it's going out. That's what, because I need to go charge it. Okay, so three of those... And then I got some black ones. I think I bought two or three of the black ones. Three of the black ones also. Three seems to be the magic number. $3.99. Got it for $0.99. Cents. Again, it's 12 uh, cards and 12 envelopes. And the reason I got the black ones is I love to jelly print on black with metallics, with metallic paint. So I definitely will probably be jelly printing these with metallics. How fabulous is that going to be? Oh, love it. And um, also got uh, card... Uh, like I said, envelopes and cards. Oh, you know, the envelopes are white. I thought the envelopes were black. That's fine. I can still jelly print these and um, with metallic paints on the jelly plate. And make them into tags, make them into little booklets, make them into actual cards. Fabulous. What else do we got in here? I think I picked out three of this one. Just a second, let me see. Or did I just get two? Oh, there's another one of this. So I picked up four of this one. Because I love the white. Because then I can really, really make it into whatever I want. I can coffee stain, like I said. Tim Holtz Distress inks. Um, put on the jelly plate. Whatever I want. It's just envelopes. So that goes with the rest of those. So there's four of those. And then I picked up just two of these. Again, more white envelopes. Which I really want the white envelopes. So I can do whatever I want with them. And then, um, so it's 12, 12 cards and then flat cards and 12 envelopes. I'm not really, you know, it's okay, this design, but if I use it as a regular card, I'll put my own artwork on top of here. I print out my own artwork and then double stick tape and, you know, make a card with my own artwork. Or, um, or I can turn these into tags, turn them into little booklets, whatever I want with the cards. And you guys know I've been talking about what I'm going to do with the envelopes. And I like this size. This size is 5 by 7 It's a nice big size. This size that I was doing before, these were 4 and four and a quarter by 5 and 5 and 5.5. 5. 
and then this size was five by five on that size. I don't know if I told you guys the sizes. <clears throat> Next, I picked up three of these because I love this color. This color is the bomb. Look how beautiful that color is. Um, four ninety nine. Got them for a dollar twenty four, and these are five five point two five times seven point two five. And they're gorgeous, and they're all envelopes. And there is how many envelopes in here? Twenty four. I mean, between the threes, that's 75 envelopes. It's insane. And I love the color. Love it. Coffee staining these would be gorgeous. Just throwing a little bit of coffee staining and then have this uh, teal come out through that. Or jelly printing on these would be gorgeous. All kinds of stuff. So, love it. And you can make little, nice, like I said, little journals or little booklets. Then go inside pockets inside of your junk journal or your art journal with envelopes. Which would be really fun to do love that and last year um i i lost out on the envelope games envelopes and cards by the time i thought of like oh i should have got those from junk journaling and art journaling they already had sold out so this year when i saw them i said you know what angela don't be stupid um did i already show you guys this one i'm confused no because there was only one of this i would have got three of this one but there was only one, so I couldn't get three. Just a second. I'm about to have a, <clears throat> I'm about to have a crafty avalanche. Now, this color here, I love this Robin's Egg Blue. It's the same as the smaller ones, but this is bigger. This is 5.25 times 7.25. And these were $4.99. Got them for $1.24. And you get 24 of these. So it's the same as this one. Oh, no, it's not. Anyway, I would have picked up three, but they only had this one. So... And I love the Robin's Egg Blue. And like I said, coffee staining this color would just be gorgeous to me. I can already see it. I can already see it. Okay. I got me some wood beads. Got me some wooden balls. <laughs> I like saying that. Wooden balls. <laughs> Two ninety nine, gone for seventy four cents. Wood beads, forty forty eight to forty nine millimeters, round, unfinished, two pieces. Do I know what I'm going to do with these? No. But they were, I found them and I thought, you know what? Something like this you need in your stash. <laughs> Two big wooden balls. <laughs> All right, I'm so nasty. Let me shut up. Um, the only thing I could think of right away is tassels. Wouldn't these be cool at the end of a tassel? Which I may, that may be what I do with them. So I just thought this would be good to have in my stash. And at 74 cents, I picked them up. Um, and this was over in, this was in the uh, jewelry section, believe it or not. They had some wooden uh, beads over there for, you can get like 12 of them for 74 cents. I didn't pick up any of those because I just didn't feel the need to, but I thought these two big ones, yeah. Um, okay, get my mind off the big wooden balls. Um, <laughs> I'm horrible. Um. These right here, I don't know if they're plastic or if they're wooden. I didn't really care. Five forty nine gone for a dollar thirty seven, and they're just small little beads. These kind of beads for me are really good when I'm making a necklace, and I need to uh, have a little separator in between each bead, especially big stones. It looks really good to have a little separator between each one, so each stone sits by itself and it makes them sit really nice. And um, so this is a bunch of them. How many do you get? I don't even know. But look. That's a crap load. So, perfect. Okay. Love it. And then... Oh. Did I show you... Oh, I have another... I'll put that with this stuff. Okay, yeah, we'll put that with that. Alright, then I got some... In my last video, I showed a bunch of planners that I got for uh, $1.50 that were $12 planners. Fabulous. Get yourself to, uh, to Hobby Lobby and get some. Uh, they had Agenda 52, and these were only $2.24, regularly $8.99. Now, you bet your bottom dollar, if they would have had more of these, I would have picked up three or four of them because I love this. It's called Moody Florals. They copied Happy Planner because Happy Planner also has Moody Floral 
stickers. I got a couple packs of those last year. One or two I bought, and then someone gifted me some too. And I just love decorating my planner with these. Um, wait, let me, and we'll go through them real quick. I don't know about quick, but we'll go through them. So if you like the Moody Florals from the Happy Planner, uh, be looking out um, for the Agenda 52 because they, they're, they're really similar. Really nice. $8.99, $2.24. Look how beautiful these are. Let me just bring my camera down so I don't have to worry about. There we go. These are gorgeous. Look at those. We'll go through them quickly. And you get two or three pages, two pages of each. Look at these. These are gorgeous. See what I'm talking about, you guys? I needed something to inspire me to decorate my planner. Because I haven't been decorating my planner, and I love doing it. You guys, to me, it is just so relaxing. Get myself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and just decorate my planner. To me, that is such a luxury. Just to, You know what that is? That's self-care. Just give yourself a little, like an hour just to decorate your planner it's not necessary nobody else knows about it but you but it's just to me that's just pure luxury to take that time to just plan your life out and decorate your planner so now that I got this and I got another one too I'm, I'm decorating my planner I'm gonna start now so that next month is all decorated are the this is look at this page seeing how gorgeous this is this can make me want to go to the other Hobby Lobby to see if I can't get another one of these do I need to do that no will I do it I don't know <laughs> let's take bets if Angela will go to the other Hobby Lobby these are gorgeous you guys gorgeous Haircut, to do, note, love. I love the calligraphy pen right there. Day off, appointments, ASAP, do, and then call back. Look at these. <gasps> oh. This this is so beautiful that I could just run to the other Hobby Lobby and pick up more of these. Do I need to? Absolutely not. I have two of these from last year of the Happy Planner. Three of them from the Happy Planner one. I'm just crazy like that. So I got two of this because look, it, it's that Moody Neutrals again. And this was $4.99. Got it for $1.24. Let's go through it, girls. Girls and boys. I shouldn't just say that. <clears throat> but to be fair, um... I was looking at my um, analytics. It's mostly women 40 and up. It's mostly women, for one that watch my channel, 40 and up. That's who I attract. Which sounds right, because I'm a woman and I'm 54. So, about to be 55, you guys, next month, March 18th. Flippin' nightmare. Okay. $4.99, got it for $1.24. And did I get this up? Okay. Let's see how many pages there is of each. There's just one page of each. Is there? Yeah. Let's just go through it really quick. Look how beautiful. Look. Oh, I love this. I even have a Moody uh, Neutrals like this. This all this color. Uh, planners. I bought quite a few last year. Probably four of them. Two the regular size and two jumbos. I think maybe it's three jumbos. They were a good price, you guys. Those planners last year were like five bucks. They're the Agenda 54 planners. Or Agenda 52 planners. And they're just gorgeous. So, at like, I think they were $5. I had to pick them up. Are these stickers gorgeous or what, you guys? See, this can make me go to the other store. Do I need to go to the other store? Absolutely not. I should keep my big behind at the house. Look how beautiful. Love that money sign. Yeah, that's me spending too much money. Look at this, how gorgeous this is. Look at these florals. <gasps> oh, love all the butterflies. Again, you get that same thing. 
These are just a little bit smaller to go in the, the Agenda 52. Uh, they have different sizes, so this is to go into the smaller planner, but you can use them on whatever. Look how gorgeous. And you can throw any of this in your mixed media, too. Or your junk journaling. All this stuff intermixes. Isn't that gorgeous? And I got two of them. So excited! This right here is just... <coughs> Fabulous. Okay. And try to keep the stuff stacked on the side. So when I take my picture. All right, next. Oh, another set of envelopes. I got this set of envelopes. Now this is holographic. Can you? Oh, you can see. Isn't that cool? I only picked up one pack. Seven ninety nine gone for a dollar ninety nine. But look at the holographic of it all. I thought these would be really cool to put in my um, art journaling, junk journaling, and not even change it. Just leave them like this. Isn't that cool? And they're envelopes. It's all envelopes, and you get 24 pieces. Now that I'm looking how cool these are, I should have got more. But, okay. Okay, I did pick up three of these. Let me tell you why. For one, they're 82 cents. Regularly, $3.29 to $0.82. Cents. That's an insane price. Look how cool this butterfly stamp is. This is beautiful. Does it tell you what kind? I can't read it because it's cursive and it's really, well, I can read cursive, but I can't read it because it's kind of small. I would need to get like a little magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, I'm blind. Um, but look how beautiful these butterflies are. Aren't they gorgeous? I'd love to use this in my mixed media, my art journaling, my junk journaling, my mixed, my, my mixed media. Beautiful. So what I did was, is I got, um... I got one for stamping with, for like mixed media backgrounds, art journaling backgrounds, junk journaling backgrounds. One to put on my jelly plate, because I like to take stamps, especially if I get them on good clearance, and stamp them into my jelly plate. And then I got one for giveaway, okay? So that's why I got all three of those. And I love them. Then I picked up three of this. Um, these were $5.99. I got them for $1.49. And this is the, um, this is to make wax seals. But you, you're supposed to put this in a glue gun. But you can do it the old-fashioned way and just cut these up a little bit and just put, put them on the spoon over the, over the, um, candle and melt them and do your wax seals that way. Or you can put this in your, um, in your gun. And I think I bought the gun last year. Did I buy the gun? You guys, just one second. Let me see if I bought the gun. I'm just kind of curious. I thought maybe I bought the gun. I'm not sure. The glue gun is what I'm talking about. They have a glue gun right above it that you can put the sticks in. Or like I said, you can do it the old-fashioned way. Did I buy? Let me just look and see. I have so much of this stuff. I need to be doing some of this. No, I didn't buy the, the glue gun. This is what I bought. I bought this last year. So you put your, um, underneath here, see the hole? You put your, um, little, what is that little candle? You guys know what I'm talking about. The little white candle underneath here. That goes down. You cut off a piece of this wax, put it in here, and then go like that. It melts it. You pour it. And then you take your wax seal and just go like that. And you can make wax seals. I need to just do wax, like make a video on making wax seals. That'll be fun because I need to make a bunch. I'm doing it. I'm making a video this week or next week on wax seals. And some people just haven't even done that and they want to see it. So, and so okay. So I want to make sure if I got that, if I've got that gun or not. And I didn't. I got the... I got the, okay, I like doing it the old fashioned way. That makes sense to me. Anyway, um, so I got this color. I bought three of them. It's a very wine color, which I love this dark wine color. 
I use these type of, it's like a copper, it's like a bronzy wine color. I love it. It'll go great with all of my stuff. So if I do some art journaling or junk journaling, it will match the wax seals. Which, okay, imagine taking these envelopes and coffee dyeing them using Tim Holtz Distress inks or even jelly printing on them and then um, and then doing a wax seal in like this color. Oh, and put that in your one of the pockets of your junk journal or art journal. In my case, art journal, junk journal. Fabulous. I do want to show you this. I got this last year. I just took it out. But they had this color, you guys. So I just want to tell you. They had this color for $1.49. I didn't buy any more. I got this last year. And look, it's the same price. $5.99, $1.49. Um, they had this color. And I'm so glad I didn't buy any more of this color because I already have like three or four of this color. Yep. In fact, I have... I bought both of them, both shades. I think they have both these shades on clearance, the darker and the lighter, just like from last year. So just wanted to show you guys that so that if you um, if you want to look for those, you can. I'm just going to see if I have any other ones that they had this year. Yeah, that's what, all I, that's what I can remember. But while you're there, pick, it, pick this up if you need to. They have it there. It's not on clearance, but pick this up. It's like a set like, it's a set like this. And that way you can do your wax seals. Okay. What else do we got in here? Oh, I did pick up purple. Again, I just, I love jewel tone colors. And so I do love to mix like wines and purples and browns and get all those real pretty jewel tone colors in my um, jelly printing. So, um, and I can jelly print um, the envelopes or cards and then use these wax seals. Look how beautiful that purple is. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and then I got uh, this wax too, this light baby pink, regularly $5.49, got it for $1.37. As much as I like all the jewel tone colors, I'm on the other end too where I love pretty shabby chic um look how pretty those would be together even mix these together in the same in that spoon and melt them together marbleize them that'd be gorgeous or this too um so i just thought this was gorgeous so you don't have to cut these off like you have to here if you don't use the glue gun you just put those in on the spoon and melt it um this was four forty nine. I got it. This was four forty nine. Got it for a dollar twelve. This is one of the wax seals, wax seal stamps, for only a dollar twelve. You guys, that's an insane deal. These are regularly four forty nine, um, and I like the design. That's the design there. I don't know what the heck that is, but it just looks very old world, and I love it. So I got that one, and I'll just show it to you. Let me open it up. Just a second. <clears throat> and to think I wasn't gonna go I wasn't gonna go to this this to this part of this part of the clearance. Oh, you know I can't stay out of Hobby Lobby when they clearance. Here it is, and here is the isn't that pretty? I don't know. Somebody will probably tell me what the heck it is. I have no idea, but it looks very old world, very vintage, right up my alley. It'll make a beautiful wax seal. And then I picked up, I, I, um, I've been picking up stuff from the jewelry section and pretty much I picked up everything I wanted from there, but I just went and cruised it again just to make sure. And for, regularly $3.99, got them for 99 cents. It's like a faux leather isn't this cool? I love this uh, bull's horn. Bull horn? I guess it's bull horn. Look how pretty those are. It's like leather. And you can make them into whatever you want. So I, I'm going to make them into a pair of earrings. See how it has this on here? Aren't that be cool? I just have knitted um, a, a poncho, a ruana, and I'm about to knit a... Um, boho cardigan and it's all out of the same yarn it's all out of the same yarn colors which is black cream 
and dark brown and it just looks so native and these earrings will look fabulous with any of those so that's why I picked these up <clears throat> and I will do a video on my knitting what I've been doing because I have a lot of stuff I've knitted that I need to do a little video on that and I will do that okay was that everything oh I, th I felt like there was more okay that's it I mean that's enough like that's nuts how much I just showed you yeah, that is it. That's it. That's it. Okay. I thought I had another bag down on the ground. I don't. Okay, you guys, that is it. Let me know what your favorite item was that I got. You guys, do not waste any time. If you want to go, get over there. The stuff is going quick. Um, Just get over there. This, the prices are insane. Um, Just get over there and get whatever you want. <laughs> at these prices. We're talking Dollar Tree prices. If it's a dollar fifty, it's a Dollar Tree price because Dollar Tree is already at a dollar twenty five and they already got like three and four or five dollar items. So you know. We're at Dollar Tree prices. Um let me know what your favorite thing is. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.